Trusty Standard Version 3.0 imparts focus on soil health management. So why focus on soil? We all know that soil is the foundation for plant growth and the fact that civilizations have survived over time affirms soil as the foundation of agriculture. But this very system of crop production is now responsible for depletion of one third of the Earth's fertile soil. As per the UN officials, if current rates of degradation continue, all of the world's topsoil could be gone within 60 years. So when we talk about tea, should soil degradation be a concern point? Yes. India is the second largest producer of tea globally and with more than 3.5 million livelihoods depending on this crop, its importance in the country's economy can be well understood. But tea in India is inherently challenged by the problem of soil erosion due to the slopey terrain on which tea is generally grown. The extreme climatic events, which have become quite frequent now, further aggravates the challenge. And when chemical fertilizers are being applied over the last few decades on such vulnerable soils, it has spiraled the topsoil degradation potential, indicating an unpredictable and insecure future for this important cash crop of India. The existing scenario points towards the need to adopt strategies to slow down the soil degradation rate and restore soil health. And regenerative agriculture is the tool that can help build a healthier relationship between agriculture and soil. The trusty version 3.0 is designed to focus on soil health management through adoption of regenerative agricultural practices. So what is the scope? The trusty region framework will encompass five basic components. Plan one, study of the existing good agricultural practices in soil through utilization of trusty region AG checklist. The purpose is to improve the quality of any ongoing composting activity and on-farm production of organic concoctions that will be used for soil and plant health management. Plan 2, soil health analysis and soil test-based manuring program, adherence to plant protection code and regulations of the Food Safety and the Standards Authority of India. Plan 3, Initiative towards sustainable weed management through better winter works, retention of pruning litter, mulching in young tea areas, etc. Plan 4. Initiative towards improving the vegetation cover in the garden, especially in the newly planted and young tree areas through approaches like infilling program to reduce sectional vacancies, improvement of shade tree status, etc. And last but not the least, Development of Biodiversity Action Plan for Natural Ecosystem Conservation. How does a garden implement this program? The garden will have to first provide the required details as per the trustee region checklist. Trustee will then provide the guidelines and the required training towards region progression. The garden will have to make the implementation plan and trustee implementation partners will thereafter handhold the gardens and help out in the transition process. Does a garden need any specific trained person to implement this program? Yes. Apart from the trustee officer, the garden has to deploy one executive for the region training and implementation. If the garden does not have any sustainable practice ongoing, Will it be eligible to apply for version 3.0 certification? To apply for version 3.0, the garden has to at least follow standard cultivation procedures as per Tea Research Association or UPASI guidelines. If it does not have any sustainable practice as of now, then it will have to make a yearly plan with subsequent verification by trustee. What benefits can an entity expect from this program? The trustee code and certification assures entity compliance with national regulations and international sustainability standards now with trustees ICIN certification. The version 3.0 
will provide an additional edge in terms of sustainable climate responsible tea production because soil when managed sustainably can play an important role in climate change mitigation by storing carbon and decreasing greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere.